hi welcome to my channel my name is Ada Ogu. in this channel I talk about skincare everything skincare we discuss and educate about everything skincare in this channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe if you are new to my channel I want you to know that I have passion about skincare whatever you see me do on this channel is as a result of passion you know I developed this passion after I went through series of hyperpigmentation, pimples, bumps, any skin issues you can actually think of. So in today's um, video, I want to talk about that particular skincare product that I hate so much, that gives me the creeps. I hate it so much, but I can't do without it. We all can't do without this particular skincare product. So before I talk about this, do you have any skincare product you do not like that you wish doesn't exist? Because this particular one, I wish it doesn't actually exist. I wish we don't have to use it. I wish it's not that very important in our skincare routine. Do you have any one you don't just want to use but you know it is very important to your skincare routine. Please drop your opinions in the comment section. So this particular skincare product that I hate so much is the king of all skincare products. This particular skincare product, if you like, use the best products on this earth. Use the best chemical pills. If you like, follow all the skincare routine in in this life. Follow it verbatim, step by step. Like you don't miss any of like you don't miss any of them. If you don't use this particular skincare product, every other thing you've used is just noise and void. It's not gonna work. Even if it works, it's gonna reverse whatever work it has done on your skin i don't know if you can take a guess about this king of skincare products before i mention it can you guess okay the skincare product i'm talking about is sunscreen sunscreen i hate the idea of sunscreen i hate the idea of using sunscreen but the fact still remains that we cannot do without this product the reason why i hate sunscreen is that sometimes it's hard to get the one suitable for your skin type sometimes when you get a sunscreen that's not suit your skin type for example you have an oily skin and you, you got a sunscreen it doesn't make you look ashy it doesn't break you out then at the end of the day you find out yes this sunscreen doesn't make me look ashy this sunscreen doesn't break me out but this sunscreen makes you look so greasy. You will look so greasy from morning to evening. You are looking so greasy. And what's about it is as you keep applying it through the day, you look more greasier. You get me? This is one of the reasons why I don't really like sunscreen. Another reason why I don't like sunscreen. Number two reason why I don't like sunscreen is the fact that you have to apply sunscreen every two hours. Seriously, the thought of it drives me crazy. Every two hours, they're going to apply your sunscreen. Once you're outdoor, you're applying every two hours. The scientists have said, apply every two hours, even when you are indoors. But I won't lie to you guys, this apply every two hours, even when you're indoors. I don't follow that one strictly. I do not. Once I'm at home, I try my best to draw the curtains, as you can see. Okay, and I don't just follow it strictly. They apply every two hours when you're indoors. Can we just live life without this sunscreen stressing us? I can understand maybe when you're outside applying every two hours. It's still stressful. When you are outside trying to run one or two things, you're thinking about how to reapply your sunscreen every two hours. Not even every four hours. Every two hours, guys. Every two hours. Seriously, this is one of the reasons why I don't like sunscreen. But though, if I go to work, if I'm at work, try my best to apply every three hours. As long as I'm not seated close to the window. Maybe, you know, when you're at work, although you have the UVA, you have the UVA reflecting inside the, inside your workplace, 
but as long as i'm not sitting close to the window i just try to apply every three hours so the idea of applying sunscreen every three hours oh my god i do not like it at all but what can we do if you want to have a glowing youthful skin forever or maybe maybe forever is actually a long time maybe till your 50s or 60s then it's sunscreen is something you want to be consistent with but for me I hate the idea of sunscreen. I just, I wish it never existed. Like, it's not something that, that is actually an issue for real. The third reason why I do not like the idea of sunscreen is it makes you look ashy. Oh God. It makes you look ashy, especially mineral or physical sunscreen. It dulls your glow. It makes you look so ashy. Thank God, and I'm also grateful for chemical sunscreen. Although for some chemical sunscreen, by the time you apply it three times, four times a day, it might look a little bit dull. It dulls that glow. That beautiful glow that you have. Sunscreen is so annoying. It's so annoying. The fourth reason why I do not like the idea of sunscreen is the fact that you have to apply sunscreen 15 minutes before you leave the house. You don't just apply, uh, this, is speci this is specifically for chemical sunscreen. When it comes to mineral sunscreen and physical sunscreen, it's not like that. You don't apply and wait for 15 minutes. For chemical sunscreen, you have to apply it, wait for 15 minutes before you leave the house. Some product says wait for 20 minutes, some product says wait for 30 minutes. Like seriously, what of the mornings when I'm running late or in the or other or days when I'm running late and time is not a luxury for me? What happens? For example, I've had times when I wake up late and I just dash into the bathroom, have my shower, come out, just apply maybe my moisturizer. And I do not have time. After applying my sunscreen, I won't even have the time because I'm running late to work. And I don't even have the time to wait for even 10 minutes. Meanwhile, you have to actually wait for 10 to 15, 15 to 20 minutes before you expose yourself to the sun. And when there is no time for you to wait, what happens? Does it mean after applying the sunscreen and you enter the sun, that you're still going to get burnt just because you didn't wait for 15 minutes? I don't just get this sunscreen of a thing it's so annoying really it's so annoying I, I wish when it comes to chemical sunscreen we do not have to wait for 15 minutes 20 minutes or 30 minutes i wish it's just like the mineral sunscreen that you just apply and leave the house fifth reason why i do not like the idea of sunscreen is the fact that most of this sunscreen that you can actually use and not look greasy and not look ashy that very expensive sunscreen can be so expensive and being expensive is not even the issue. The fact that it does sometimes it doesn't even last up to three weeks. One doesn't even last up to three weeks because you have to keep reapplying throughout the day, and it makes it more expensive. Like do you know how many sunscreens I've used within the space of let's let's say um, two months. This is how, how much I've how much sunscreen I've used in the space of two months. That is if it's even up to two months. This is um, how much sunscreen I've used, guys. This is how much sunscreen I've used in the space of two months. You keep spending money buying sunscreen because you know that if you don't buy this sunscreen, every other thing you are doing for your skin is nonsense. Because sunscreen is the king of all skincare products. It is the king. See, see how much I have had, see how much money I've spent in the last two months. That is even if it is up to two months, you know, one sunscreen sometimes lasts me only two weeks. Like, what is all this? Seriously, so annoying. Even when you buy the cheap one, it doesn't even last. That means you have to keep buying it. Oh, I wish these things come cheap so that even when you are buying them repeatedly, are applying them every two, two hours, you won't be angry. I can't even spend so much money on sunscreen. Seriously, in fact, it should be made free. <laughs> Because all of us we need sunscreen, we should just be made free for real. Another reason, which is the sister reason why I do not like uh, sunscreen, is the fact that if you are not lucky, it's going to keep breaking you out. When I first started my, my use of sunscreen, every sunscreen I used the, those days we were always breaking me out. They were always breaking me out. Mineral sunscreen or physical sunscreen 
You might get lucky and it will break you out. But sometimes chemical sunscreen will always do it well. Sometimes it breaks you out. It breaks you out. What about sunscreen is that you keep trying to see which one will be suitable for your skin. With sunscreen, it's endless trial. You keep trying and trying. But right now, I think I found the one that seemed to be permanent in my sunscreen world. I always go back to that sunscreen. I'll keep using it. Unless maybe in the future I see something better than it. I'm going to... This particular sunscreen I'm talking about, I'm going to make a review of it in my next video. So, all these things I've mentioned, it's just the reason why I do not like the idea of sunscreen. And it's not like we can stop using it. No, we can't stop using sunscreen. You can't. Even, no matter how annoying it is, we can't, we still keep using sunscreen. Because it's important. It's the king of all skincare products. Another reason I might say, even though I do not, it's, it's not applicable to me, it's for those that wear makeup. Imagine wearing nice makeup and you have to keep applying your sunscreen every two hours. <laughs> and I don't see it. I, I don't see it easy. I, even me that even me that do, do not wear uh, makeup, it's still a bit difficult applying it during the day. Talking about someone that wears makeup, you have to keep up with applying it on top of your makeup. I wonder how the person will look like after that. Then, I think another reason why I would say for myself I do not like sunscreen is the fact that in the morning when you are running late, after applying your moisturizer, you have to wait for at least another five minutes before applying your sunscreen on top of the moisturizer. You can't just apply moisturizer, then wait for two minutes and apply sunscreen on it because it's not supposed to mix together. When they both mix together, it reduces the efficacy of your sunscreen. So, it's so annoying how you have to, even for those that wear makeup even, before you wear your makeup, I think you have to wait for about 10 to 20 minutes before you apply the uh, sunscreen on your face. Oh God, the stress of sunscreen, the stress of sunscreen, the stress that comes with sunscreen is really something else. I really wish this particular product doesn't exist. I don't like the idea. I do not like it. But then what can we do? It's something you can't run away from. It's something that as long as you're into skincare, is something you must keep using seriously i hope i'm only hoping that our scientists will come up with something better you know those brains behind sunscreen i'm only hoping that they will come up with something better something that it, and when it comes to mineral sunscreen it doesn't it doesn't leave you ashy when it comes to chemical sunscreen you don't it doesn't make you feel greasy you know let them just come out with something that so let it just come out with a sunscreen that when you apply it, it's more like you are, you are applying a moisturizer. And please, can you guys, scientists, please can you guys come out with a sunscreen that we do not have to apply every two hours. Maybe every five hours is more reasonable. Is it possible, can you, is it possible that you guys can do that for us? Every five hours, maybe, you know, instead of thinking and worrying about applying sunscreen every two hours. Can you guys just come out with something about maybe every five hours, please? I believe some people will love you too. Every five hours, that is more reasonable. But for now, let me keep making do with this ones we have every two hours, they say, right? Okay, we'll keep doing that. But bear in mind that even though I preach about sunscreen, I do not like the idea of sunscreen. It's annoying. But then I want you to know that I'm, I'm always consistent with my sunscreen. This ones are just... I've ju just these ones are just two months of use. This ones, this ones, and I'm using another one already. So guys, I don't. Know. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Is there any product that you, you apart from skincare? Is there something you can't do without that you wish doesn't actually exist? You know, is there something both in skincare, but those that love makeup, maybe both in makeup. Anything at all you think you can actually, it might be food. What's that thing you wish doesn't actually exist but is very important? Please drop in the comment section. And even though we talked about sunscreen today, you can actually still ask your questions in the comment section about skincare, about black, dark spots, if you have any, if you have pimples, anything you have you want to ask, anything you want to ask about skincare i'm open to answer in the comment section 
<laughs> I'm so glad you're making this video. So the summary of everything I've said is that sunscreen makes you ashy, it can make you look greasy, it can break you out, it has to take every two two hours to re reapply. You have to wait for 15 to 20 minutes, leave the house after applying sunscreen. You know, these are the reasons why I hate and I don't like the idea of sunscreen, but it will not stop me from using sunscreen. I'm consistent with my sunscreen and I hope you to become consistent with your sunscreen. If you are watching me, if you're not using your sunscreen, if you're not applying every two two hours or every three three hours, start doing that right now because this is the king of all skincare products. No matter what you use, if you don't, if you're not consistent with your sunscreen, then you are doing nothing at the end of the day. But thank you so much for sticking around, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel if you've not. Share this video, please, if you can, and like the video. I'm so grateful. All my subscribers. Oh, you're almost getting to 1,000. Thank you guys for your support. Thanks for your love. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the comments. And if you have any video suggestion, please, can you let me know in the comment section. Thank you. Bye, guys.